So it seems that Call of Duty Zombie Chronicles is 100% confirmed now after somebody over on Reddit have dived into the game's code of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and found a message of the day which indicates that yes, Zombie Chronicles is indeed real. We will be getting 8 individual remastered zombies maps. In this video I'll be talking about each individual one, also talking about a release date of Zombie Chronicles because I've got some information that quite a lot of people don't know about and I'll be getting into that towards the end of the video. So first of all, Zombie Chronicles maps, we have eight in total. We have three maps from Call of Duty World at War. We have Natchter and Toten, Beruk and Shino Numa. We have four maps from Call of Duty Black Ops. We have Kino de Toten, Ascension, Shangri-La and Moon. And then we have one map from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and that will be Origins. Now I did predict these over on Twitter and I predicted all of these apart from, I believe it was Mob of the Dead and Instead, we got Natchter and Totem, which I'm perfectly fine with. Very good map, can't wait to get my hands on these games. And now we're going to start diving into things such as the price, the release dates, because this is something a lot of people are curious about. And I definitely don't think that people are going to get this for free with the season pass. It just doesn't make sense for Activision to do this. The Black Ops 3 Season Pass clearly states that you'll get four individual map packs and that is it. Of course, the game is now nearly uh, going on at one and a half years old. And well, Activision do want to make as much revenue as possible. The reason why this has been a thing is because Activision knows that it's going to sell. They know that they're going to increase their profits. Of course, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare did terrible this year in terms of its revenue. And Activision wants to bump up those profits to keep the investors happy so that is something to bear in mind so with this information we can easily predict that this is going to be on sale it's going to be I predict around 30 to 40 dollars now the reason for this is because an individual map pack is 15 dollars and I believe that a disc version of this is also going to come as well which will be sold at retailers they've got to take in to fact the production costs of this disc uh, the box art all of the marketing for the game and stuff like that and first $30 to $40 does seem pretty reasonable to me and a lot of people saying all oh, that is too much I I could very easily say that they could even sell this for $50 and I assure you that they're going to sell probably hundreds and thousands of copies but $30 to $40 is the price that I'm going to put on this map pack. Now moving on with the reveal and the release of Zombie Chronicles the reveal will take place this Thursday at 10 a.m pacific time I believe that is 6 p.m gmt for you guys living in the UK and I believe that'll be 7 p.m across Europe so you guys in Spain and France and Germany that is going to be the time for you guys. Now for the release dates this is very important because I believe I'm one of the only people that knows this apart from the YouTubers that go out to the event and it's the fact that YouTubers are going to Treyarch Studios next week and I believe they're going on the 9th of May. Now what does this mean? It means that the release date of Zombie Chronicles is very near and it means that uh, taking into fact the recording time and also the embargo we can expect that they will start to upload these uh, videos of each individual map just a few days after they've gone out to the studios which would mean maybe something like the 11th to 12th of May so 11th to 12th of May start to expect these videos pumping out from YouTubers let's just say the 12th of May for uh, uh, consistency to six because that is going to mean they can start uploading over the weekend so eight days on top of May the 12th because there's eight individual maps will take us to May the 20th and well they're not going to release the map pack on a Sunday they're not going to really release release it on a Monday, although they could do, but traditionally we've seen it these Tuesday releases every single time that a map pack has released and well the 23rd of May is going to be the date which I'm going to set for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles to release because of all of the information that has been brought forward. Of course we also have the ratings from the ASRB board which states that Call of Duty Zombie Chronicles is going to be N for Mature. Now they would never rate a game or a DLC before it's scheduled to release. They always do it near to a release and because they've rated this 
particular uh, game slash zombie map pack, it does mean that there will be a retail version of the game as well, and that is going back to the $30 to $40 prediction of this being on sale. Now, as well as this, also we've got to think about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 3. Of course, a lot of people are not going to uh, say that it sells copies and stuff like that. It does sell quite a lot of copies, more than quite a lot of people will think, and they've got to bear that in mind with their marketing. They can't cross uh, market these stuff, these things, otherwise it's just uh, going to conflict with sales and stuff like that. And well, they're going to release it sometime in May because they don't want to conflict with the June uh, marketing for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 3. So hopefully all of that makes sense. Once again, eight remastered Zombies maps. Reveal date is going to be this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And the release date, I believe, will be the 23rd of May. But anyway, guys, without further ado, I'm the Long Station, and I'll see you guys in the next video.